In this video, I'm going to talk about things that I wish I knew before I moved to Norway. My name is Tara and I'm a foreigner in Norway. I'm from Denmark. I've been living in Norway as a foreigner for five years now. And I want to make sure that you know all of these things before you are going to move here because it can really help you out. Also, if you are curious about more content from me, please make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's dive into this video. I know right it's snowing and it's November so if you are wanting to move to Norway you definitely want to make sure that you are aligned with all this cold weather anyways let me talk about the first thing I wish I knew before I moved here the first thing I wish I knew is how important it is to land your first job not the job related to your degree or university degree bachelor PhD whatever so I spent a lot of months at the beginning trying to get my first uh, job related to my education. And I spent so much time, energy and effort on finding this, my first engineer job. And it just, all my energy did not pay out. So I got my first job, which was in customer service, selling magazines. And it was a terrible, terrible uh, job, but it did help me with my, building up my Norwegian resume. And that is really what's important is building up a Norwegian resume and just getting get some kind of job and then you are in the zone and you can uh, work your way up from there. So instead of try spending months on this, just hear me out and find your first job, start building a network, start meeting some people, learning the language. My first job helped me learn the language very, very well because I had to speak the language every day. So that is my definitely the first thing I wish I knew so I wouldn't waste a lot of months trying to find the perfect job. Another thing I wish I knew is that it actually is going to take some effort for you and you need to step out of your comfort zone for you to be able to meet new people and kind of get to know the Norwegian culture. So you need to actually be the annoying foreigner who is kind of inviting herself to things and kind of being like, what is this and what is that? And how do you do this? And where do you find that? Um, that's actually just how it is. So I was kind of thinking that I could just swoop in and be like, uh, kind of one with the Norwegians right away. But, um, and I was too proud to be this annoying foreigner, meaning that I kind of, it took me maybe over a year before I kind of met some people and kind of got in the game here and started to thrive. So definitely, if you are moving here, feel free to get out of your comfort zone and actually just be the annoying foreigner that you are and everybody know that you are. And then if people do not want to hang out with you or talk to you, that is their loss. Another thing I wish I really knew is that Norwegians do not hate you. Um, I was, as I said, way too proud to actually take initiative at the beginning to, to meet new people. And this is just really putting you in a bad circle and making you not meet new people and getting to create your new life. So it's really important that you know for sure in your core that Norwegians are not hating you as a foreigner here. They are just uh, normal people not knowing who you are. So definitely take initiative and try and speak with Norwegians when you are moving to Norway. Another thing I wish I knew is uh, actually how to drive here. So the rules here is actually a lot different than it than they are um, in Denmark and probably also in your home country. So definitely try and do some research if you are moving here, how they are driving here and how you and the rules and um, so you do not get killed. I've multiple times forgotten to actually hold back because here in Norway you have to um, hold back from <laughs> the, the cars coming from the right. Um, and that's not how it is in Denmark. You you just have uh, some signs and stuff. So definitely try and do some research on this so you will not get killed. One of the greater things I wish I knew before I moved to Norway is how hard it was going to be to move to a new country and have a new culture here, new language, being away from your family, your friends and all of this. So 
this is something that I really, really want you to consider because um, if you have traveled somewhere for a year or for months or something, you know that you're always coming back and you can, you can kind of see the light at the end. But if you are moving to Norway permanently, um, this is not something that you are going to get back. So culture and language is something that is really deep in all of us and it's something that we can um, do to express ourselves like in humor or um, when we are with social relations. Uh, culture is something that is just an umbrella when we, when we speak and especially when we use humor. So this is something that you do not have. So you kind of feel very, you can feel very lost and alone at the beginning because this is something that is just very um, deep in us. And when we don't have it and we lose it, we kind of just feel like we're missing something. So this is something that you have to build up over, over time. And it does take a lot of time to kind of get to know the culture. And especially if you do not know the language, it's even worse um, and you can kind of try to hold on to your own culture back home and kind of get that homey feeling if you're watching your TV series from your home country or you're watching yeah, TV or uh, speaking on the phone with your family a lot. But this does not help you uh, really thrive in Norway. So this is just something that I wish I knew because it's been taking more place than I thought. The last thing I wish I knew is how important it is to take to make a conversation with your if you're moving for love, of course, with the one that you are traveling with and taking a conversation of how are we going to solve this um, foreigner issue with us having to come back to your original family um, and how often are we going to visit them? And how much money should we put aside? Is it just me who are going to pay that? Or are we going to split that? Um, by my opinion, you should be splitting the cost if one is from Norway and the other is not. Because it is something that you are doing together. And it really should be something that you are doing together. So that's also really important that you are kind of putting into words. Because if the one from Norway thinks that... I do not have to do anything. She's just coming here and then she's visiting her home country when she wants and it's just going to be, she's just going to figure it out. Um, that's not a really good starting point and we did not take that conversation. So that's why I really, really wish I knew how important that is because it's still something that comes up from time to time. Okay, so how are we going to do this? And how are we, uh, now that we have kids, how are we going to do it? How are we, how often are we going to see my family? When are we going to do Christmas with my family? And all of this basic stuff. So definitely um, take these conversations uh, before you do the move. This is really, really important.